What's up everyone? Hope you all are doing amazing this Monday. All right, so today we are going to be discussing about Coral and the entire ecosystem or their economy, whatever you want to call it. Now, before we jump into the video, just want to make sure that uh, all the links that we discuss in this video is going to be in the show notes or in the description of the video. So make sure to check that out. And while you do that, make sure to like, share and subscribe to my channel. All right. Like it because it's free, you know. <laughs> but, but anyways, uh, getting back into the video now, um, the entire ecosystem. All right. So the first one is backpack all right so backpack is 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 a wallet but it's it's much more than just a wallet right and it's a, a it's a it's a whole it provide it brings in uh differences of like experiences into the entire platform we will check how how they actually do all of those cool stuff within the within the platform itself and we'll get into all of that now they also have something called as like xnft xnft is basically a different uh file format let's say uh to actually uh compile uh, protocol code or like dap code or a web3 application or permissionless applications code into the form of xnft just like you know dot txt dot pdf dot doc you you have something like as an xnft so it's a file format in order to actually compile all your dap code into the form of xnft and deploy it within backpack right and we will see some of the xnft in just a bit as we go now uh, Backpack's founder or the co-founder of Backpack, Armani, he also built Anchor Framework back in the days in, in order to actually improve the developer experience on Solana. And uh, Anchor Framework, if you are a developer, I'm sure like you, you probably use it, you know, if you are not using the Solana core, um, you know, libraries as well. So Anchor Framework basically makes it much more easier to write programs on Solana and it's integrated directly within the C-level, um, C-level uh, runtime environment uh, of Solana, right? C-level is basically um, one of the core innovations, one of the eight core innovations of Solana. And this basically, uh, it relates to, let's say the, what do you call the parallel execution of like uh, Solana, right? Parallel transaction execution of Solana. So Anchor Framework, it just m helps you, it helps a developer in order to actually write better smart contracts without getting into the details uh, of the Solana core itself. Now. There's also another one, uh, another product that they have launched recently. And, you know, if you have been follow following their ecosystem, you know that by sure. But if you if you're not, if you don't know that, but we'll check that out in just a bit. All right. Now, getting into the backpack, like I said, this is uh, a wallet, but it's just it's much more, much more than that. You know why? Because if, first of all, it's a home for all your XNFT and XNFT are basically all these codes in different formats and uh, it brings the entire experience. Now, let's take a look directly into uh, Backpack itself. But before we do that, I just want to make sure like uh, we guys are on the same page. Backpack is being uh, they're, they're actually they're on on the better stage, right? And they're building in the better phase right now. So it's under highly active development right now. If you go, go to their releases of Backpack and you will see like every six hours or every five hours, you know, they, they're pushing a latest update or a feature or fixing some, uh, fixing some bugs and issues and stuff like that. So they have been publishing every uh, every few hours right and just to make sure you have all the latest feature and without any bug i highly recommend to go ahead and actually um you know download the zip file onto your computer on your pc and just unzip all the files from it and then go to your go to your browser and it's compatible with any chromium uh, or chrome browser let's say or any chromium based uh, sort of like browser go to your extensions Enable your developer mode right on the on the top right corner right here and then uh, go ahead and like unpack uh, load unpacked and you know you'll get a folder like this just uh, select that folder and just select the folder and you should see something like this and once that's done just go ahead and like pin the pin the pin the application or like pin the wallet into your browser directly just like this now getting into backpack Let's take a look at some, uh, like, you know, what are the sorts of, like, um, innovations that they have. I'm just going to, like, pop it open. Uh, all right. So now you have your your wallets. Uh, you have your wallet where you can store all your fungible assets, like fungible assets and all your tokens and coins and stuff like that. You have, uh, you know, the XNFT, which are basically applications. Uh, the experience is brought into into the into the platform itself. You also have your JPEGs, all your NFTs and stuff like that, all your uh, good stuff. Now, 
and yeah you also have uh, a chatting feature where you can actually discuss or like chat with different people it's something like you know telegram discord whatever it's the chat um, instant chat messenger you know uh, so yeah you can you can do all of that good stuff you can send friend requests and stuff like that it's it's a bit buggy because it's in the build phase but nevertheless if you have any feedback hop onto the discord and share share any feedback with them and they'll be happy to uh, you know double check that or uh, reproduce the error and try to fix it in the in the next build right so you can send different people like friend requests and you know um, and all that good stuff so you have notifications you have messaging you have your NFTs you have your XNFTs which are basically applications which are deployed and of course your fungible assets now the cool thing about XNFT backpack is like uh, it's integrated uh, currently with like Ethereum and uh, Solana blockchain Ethereum in the sense the layer one itself not the other EVM chains but basically once they integrate like you know uh, wormhole portal which is which is a which is just a portal or um, let's say to speak with like different blockchains like or to transfer assets from one blockchain to another um, you know they'll have like multiple chains um, integrated as well within the platform itself so so now you you know you don't have to use MetaMask or like whatever wallet you're using for your uh, ethereum chains and also you don't have to use like phantom uh you know two different extension you don't have to have you don't, you don't need to have you don't need to have but you can have okay so so you can have all that experience in one but not just that but even much more right now you can you can definitely of course like you have the swapping feature i think this is powered by uh jupiter and of course like there there are lots of good stuff to come uh, for this platform in general uh, i feel because um yeah the the team is like very aggressive they ship like every day almost you know and not just every day not just them but like most of the crypto developers they they're like super skilled and they ship but anyways now getting into some of the some of the details right so you can you can watch this video if you want to actually go ahead and learn how to actually install the latest beta version but uh, if you want to go ahead and do that just uh, do that but i've already shown you how to actually do that but nevertheless if you go to the discord which you can find within the twitters uh, within the twitter handle and you will see like um since like you know backpack and they, they say over here uh, tristan says like uh, some of you are using chrome Chrome Store version you have downloaded from backpack uh, dot app slash download it has not been updated in a while in the next 10 to 14 days uh, in in the next 10 days or so we'll be updating the Chrome Store version so look forward to that with all the latest feature okay so if you don't want to go ahead and like install the better version that's fine too because within like a few days you'll have the latest feature but I highly recommend you go ahead and like actually play around with the better version if you already have an invite code if you're looking for an invite code just go go ahead and like you know uh, uh, try to ping uh, you know uh, Tristan and find him or maybe solve some uh, quizzes over here and uh, they have some yeah they have some they have they have different ways in order to actually how to get this invite codes or maybe just ask around and someone will have an invite code I actually had like a couple of them but I um, gave it away you know so um, yeah but anyways ping 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 monkey dot soul or ant or like ping tristan and they might help you with that invite code right so that's great now coming into um coming into the xnft side of things just to touch here on just a bit xnft library is like uh, let's say your play store or your app store uh, but th these are all xnfts and as you can see the, they're going to be all these sorts of applications you know like all your permissionless applications that you like or any marketplace or whatever uh, different sorts of application that you actually want to publish you can go ahead and actually do that and uh, once you actually uh, click on like free it will directly install within your platform and you can actually use it from the platform itself so it, it looks something like this so let's say if you just go I'm just going to test uh, while the while the platforms right here let's go ahead and see that let's see okay I'm just going to pop it out 
and if you go to the section you will see uh, some default applications but if you click on prices like this is this is a this is an application which is called prices and it just uh, show showcases like different different price charts on on within the platform itself you don't need to go to an external uh, website in order to have the same same experience like I said like uh, the platform is currently under active development so there might be some issues but there you go so you would see all of these sorts of like things and not just that this is just an application for the prices right but you can have applications for whatever lending borrowing staking whatever uh, that you want to actually deploy you can deploy it as an XNFT and you can install it within your platform your users and stuff like that they can install it right here and you can actually access it uh, without even going to a website or without even going through your uh, browser wallet like on, on Phantom you have the browser you have the browser like on, on your mobile so you can go through that and to the application and connect your wallet but without doing that you can directly go through like backpack now all right now coming into the one of the other products that they are going to going to be launching soon which they are like teasing right now it's called the mad labs nft now why are they mad don't ask me why are they mad they are just fucking mad okay they are not fucking mad but they are fucking mad okay so we are fucking mad lads all right so it's a, yeah the hat that i'm wearing right now it's inspired by this of course it's just a gift so don't ask me how did it get here but uh, nevertheless so yeah, I don't have a cigarette like this cool guy, but I can do it with my vape this time. But yeah, so yeah, fucking mad, all right? <laughs> so this is gonna be an NFT collection launched by the same uh, NFT, XNFT backpack team. So look forward to that. If you are already whitelisted or they call it the mad listed, that's great. But if you haven't, um, you can go on to, go to the Discord go to the discord yeah go to the discord channel and just look for some of the latest announcements or like faq they will have like oh um how do you know that you're mad listed if you have if you already claimed a backpack username because all all backpack invite codes allow you to claim one username right so each backpack invite code has one username not has one you can create one whatever you want to name your username to before 20th of Jan if you already did that you are already mad listed but if you want to get mad listed you can look out into uh, into this channel like in this channel right here in order to how to actually go ahead and get white listed if you don't it's fine too you know but I highly recommend you do and try uh, you know just get get f familiar with like the better version itself so that it's much more easier when they actually release the stable version of the platform itself now um, yeah to come back on that um, yeah to get back on that all right so um, this is going to be uh, an NFT collection you have um, which is going to be okay yeah one thing one key thing to mention here is all this NFT collection this is going to be the first mint ever in crypto which is good the mint is going to happen within xnft platform itself like i said you don't need to go to a website in order to do all the minting and stuff like that it's going to be directly within the xnft platform and what do i mean by that inside the wallet itself right so they're going to have that um, feature how to actually mint this nft within that now coming into uh into armani like he says he's mad armani <laughs> all right i'm just kidding but a big shout out to the guy you know he's he's an amazing developer amazing uh, founder you know he's also the co-founder of like um like i said anchor M mad labs and of course like xnft right now of course uh you have tristan right there who's uh, also one of the co-founders jack shaftos so go ahead and give them a follow if you want to learn more about like you know armani's journey into uh like um solana and how he came about and built anchor and why did he build anchor and stuff like that just read through this thread and how did he come about the idea of like uh, xnft and like coral and all these stuff go ahead and read this thread you'll get a good idea about like who he who he is and if you want to actually learn more about who he is or maybe just uh, research more about like coral and stuff like that you can go and uh, watch this watch these three video the first one being Gajesh he just released it like 
like 11 days ago so uh, watch this and you'll learn more about like you know um, learn more about like Armani and of course like you'll learn about Gajesh as well he's, he's probably like 15 or 14 years old from India amazing developer uh, you know amazing guy both are like good friends so uh, yeah this is gonna be like a super nice episode so uh, yeah check that out uh, also check out like the um, the episode with like Logan. Highly recommend that because Logan is a great um, you know um, he he interviews amazing. So his this interview is like super amazing. So you'll get a lot of like um, a lot of like information about uh, coral and the entire ecosystem XNFT and all that good stuff. So and also if you already follow Solana uh, YouTube, you must be knowing about the playlist Chewing Glass, like the whole episode. So make sure to check this out with Chase. He um, he goes into much more technical details about you know why he built Anchor and so on and so forth. So make sure to check that out as well if you haven't. I'll link everything in the video description. So make sure to check uh, through that. All right. So yeah. So I just to recap, guys. So we have uh, Anchor Framework simplifies developer experience on Solana. We have a new file standard, let's say XNFT, or to deploy applications or within Solana. Um, and of course, Backpack, which is gonna be a multi-network uh, crypto wallet and platform for all your XNFT. And like, like as, as we have seen within the platform itself, like how it brings in like different sorts of like experiences, right? Because now, like all these communities can, can do, uh, can, can have their community in one place right because you have you have your messaging you have your nfts all in one place you have your fungible assets and also you have your front ends in one place or your applications in one place within in the form of like xnft and of course you have your fungible uh, tokens that you actually hold and stuff like that so uh, the entire experience is brought into the entire backpack uh, ecosystem right so yeah i hope you learned something about it if you want to do go ahead and do more research about it and just hop on to the discord because that's where like you know um, backpack and coral and all of these guys they're more like developer focused so um, you know developers hang out mostly on like discord but nevertheless um, go ahead ask them questions if you have any feedback uh, definitely like you know um, leave it in the comments or if you just want to go ahead to the discord that'll be amazing as well so yeah i hope you learned something and uh, i'll see you when i see you all right ciao ciao